Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. We're continuing our series of investigating damage to ground vehicles by different types of weapons. Today we're looking at using different types of gun or cannon ammunition against ground vehicles to see what types create what damage. Now this has come from you guys. You've been saying, I've been flying my Hornet, I've been shooting lots of bad guys on the ground and I'm not doing any damage. I fly my F-16, I'm flying my hog or whatever and I can't seem to do any damage can you please investigate it we're going to do it as best we can so the first idea was to have a series of tanks or heavily armored vehicles lined up on the runway and then we were going to have aircraft like the A-10 like the F-16 that can shoot while on the ground and we're going to shoot into the side of them and while we found that does work to a certain extent we found it's not actually very useful and doing some basic experiments we found that when actually attacking an aircraft from an angle of 25 degrees or higher most of your bullets are going to be hitting the top of the roof of the vehicle and in further testing that won't bother showing now but you can just take my word for it the roof armor of all of these vehicles in DCS is much less than the side which is less than the front and then the back is actually less than the side, I think. So that part of it is modeled. So there's no point of me shooting into the side or the front or the rear of, of these vehicles for those reasons. So we've changed it to make it more realistic, however more difficult to keep scientific. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be diving down on top of the vehicles. We're going to come to a rest a certain distance away from the top of the vehicles. We're going to shoot down with our cannons into the top of the vehicles. We're not going to do this kind of live with live firing from realistic angles. The reason is it's just going to be impossible to keep it scientific. These guns and DCS are simply not that accurate, you know, as in real life. And we want every bullet to make sure that we hit to make this as scientific as possible. We will use Use two different cannons a 30 mil cannon that is going to be the Avenger in the A10 and we're going to use the Vulcan cannon which is a 20 mil standard issue cannon for most of the NATO fighters in an F-16 before we look closer at the planes let's have a look at the different types of ammo and roughly how they work so here we've got target practice tracer target practice high explosive incendiary tracer high explosive incendiary Safi, semi-armor-piercing, high-explosive incendiary. Tracer, Safi, same thing without the tracer. API, armor-piercing incendiary, tracer. So, tracer is obviously a chemical that burns at the back. You can see there, 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 and there. Makes it glow so you can see it from the rear. Incendiary is an effect that will make the projectile burn to set fire to things. HE, high-explosive, is what we can see in the light blue things there 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 and there is literally high explosive for causing blast frag damage armor piercing obviously for armor piercing and target practice for a training round so if we look for instance api here we've got a solid slug there and there with our incendiary chemical there and our tracer chemical there safi high explosive there to an extent armor penetration here incendiary here and a base or rear fuse there same thing but with the additional tracer unit at the back high explosive this gives the biggest boom or high explosive incendiary i can say high explosive here we think this guy is the detonator here nose fuse here same thing but with less explosive and with tracer so one thing to think about chaps is if you're going to choose the tracer version you're going to reduce the amount of explosive that the projectile has so don't think the tracer element is going to come for free is that modeled in dcs well well we're about to find out i suppose regarding the training um i don't really know or particularly care but um, it's either hollow or some sort of solid slug there and uh, a massive burning tracer there a look at today's vehicles f-16 starting with high explosive incendiary tracer 10% ammo on all of these vehicles for the F-16 that's about 50 rounds for the A-10 it's about 110 120 rounds we wanted to keep it like that because the more shells we put into a vehicle the harder it's going to be able to gauge which shell has done the damage same thing here but without the tracer this guy is going to be uh, armor piercing without incendiary without explosive this guy is going to be semi armor piercing high explosive safi basically and this guy for the fun, it's going to be target practice, and we're going to use a tracer, and we won't bother doing the target practice without a tracer. Next, A10, it comes with three types, combat mix, with 10% ammo, uh, which is going to be, now we did an interview guy about this, and I apologise, I've forgotten, but it is a mixture of armour piercing and high explosive. I forget what which ratio, whether it's 3 to 1 or, or 2 to 1, but that's what it is. Again, about 120-ish 
rounds there. This high explosive incendiary, so that's a massive thunking shell. It's like throwing hand grenades at people. And finally, we've got here, just for the fun, target practice. In terms of the empiricism of this test, and empiricism is important if we're going to bother, you know, spending the time to do stuff like this. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, if it was on the ground firing, it would be a lot better. But for the reasons that we've spoken about, it's just not worth doing it from the ground. The fact is we're going to be approaching at different speeds and we're going to be at different heights when we shoot each bullet. So it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be the best we can get. And it should still give some relatively decent data. The type of vehicles paired up, the A-10, just we had a bit of practice earlier on just to see what would damage what. And we've chosen vehicles to suit that so that you can see some damage and no damage. The best vehicles we can choose. We've chosen uh, an Abrams M1A2 tank for the uh, 30 more cannon it just seems best suited for that in terms of showing it off and 20 more cannon we found the best vehicle for showing off is going to be an ifv uh, and we've chosen the m2 bradley for that first test top of bradley 20 mil vulcan cannon high explosive incendiary tracer and fire check for damage zero damage reset next vulcan cannon 20 mil high explosive incendiary fire No effect. Next test, Vulcan Cannon, semi-armor-piercing, high-explosive incendiary. No damage. Next test, Vulcan Cannon, armor-piercing. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. hello. Damage is... Uh, I don't know, what's that? I mean, it's about 30% about damage. So that was about 50 rounds of the hit with armor piercing and about 30% damage done. And finally, target practice uh, tracer. What the heck? Target practice? Just... <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Nice. <laughs> Makes no sense. Oh my... <laughs> what the hell happened there? I mean... No, what the I hell happened there? The now on. Wow. Let me just double check. That was target practice. I better go and repeat that just in case. Because that was weird, right? Target practice round again. Yeah, the target the target practice round is the most vicious of them all. <laughs> Wowza. I mean, well, we need to sit and think. And you know what? We'll do the conclusions at the end. Don't write it off. Just That's just how it is at the moment. Okay, valued viewers, now the mighty Gal 8 Avenger 30mm with combat mix. Expect this to make a mess. And absolutely shredded in the first few bullets. Wow, look at that. That really does what it says on the tin, doesn't it? Yeah. Gal 8 Avenger 30mm high explosive incendiary non-tracer. Get ready. Okay, well, it moved him, but it just didn't do any damage, look. Just the concussion, though, just, you know, it was like, it was like 120... Was that the incendiary? Oh, yeah, that yeah, was... Yeah, that was like... It, 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 the concussion, it, it did like 1% damage, so it did damage him. In fact, look, he's gone, he's gone like, I'm getting out of here because the concussion was mad, but he didn't actually do any damage. Gal 8 Avenger, 30 mil training round. Place your bets now, please, and get some. Nuked! Nuked, RC! Did you see that? Training. Zap! Oh, it's so exciting and sexy. Right. Weird results, guys. Weird results. We need to go and digest that, so stand by. Welcome back, viewers. We've had an idea, and that is to use the armor piercing and the training round from the 20 mil Vulcan cannon against the tanks to see if, if we can damage those. I think there'll just be some interesting information. We'll go for the armor piercing first. Vulcan cannon, 20 mil armor piercing against an Abrams. Send. Oh! Hello! It did more damage than the bloody um, oh, yeah. APC. I mean, the uh, IFB. Look at that. I mean, he really was shattered. That is 60% damage. It only did 30% damage. What I'm saying is, with armor piercing, we can go and take out a tank with a Vulcan. I didn't actually know that was possible, which is really interesting. 20 mil Vulcan cannon, training round. Fire! Oh, the training round nukes it! Didn't kill it, though. It did. I mean, interestingly, it did exactly the same amount of damage as the armor piercing. Weird results, right? Okay, so we've got some data there, some, to be honest, weird data, but let's go and now format it and uh, and take a look. So we've got the M1A2 main battle tank, top armor, 28 to 35 mil thickness. I mean, sources change, but that's the average we can get. 
M2 IFE Bradley top 16.5mm armour using the Avenger 30mm cannon, everything directly from the top on the roof for the reasons that we've said earlier. Combat mix, 115 rounds roughly, 100% damage, so more than 100% damage I guess we should say. High explosive incendiary, 115 rounds, zero damage, but we upset him. Target practice, round 115, over 100% damage. For the Vulcan 20mm, armor piercing times 50 rounds on the main battle tank, 60% damage. Target practice times 50% on the main battle tank, 60% damage. Onto the IFV, the Vulcan, high explosive incendiary times 50, 0% damage. High explosive incendiary tracer, 0% damage. Semi armor piercing high explosive incendiary times 50, 0% damage armor piercing times 50 30 percent damage target practice and i think it was a with a tracer i'm not sure i don't suppose it really matters times 50 weirdly 100 percent damage more damage from the target practice than the armor piercing and we doubled that up just to make sure on both times they were 100 percent uh, let me know what you guys think because I'm certainly not, not an expert on this and yes the data is rough data I would have to really repeat this I don't know maybe 10 times to make sure it's 100% perfect but it's a good indicator you could probably repeat that and get roughly these figures plus or minus 10 15 maybe 20% so I think it's pretty good the main thing that stands out obviously is why is target practice the best round first you think that's stupid maybe it's not maybe it's a solid slug maybe it would do, do more damage than an armor piercing I really don't know uh, let me know your thoughts. Anything to add, RC? Nope. Hope you enjoyed that and see you later.